And here we have one final test of the Droid Turbo 2 camera. This is at 4K resolution, just in case you didn't get enough of the full review, which will be done at 4K resolution. I think the review will be up by the time this video goes up. Anyway, we're taking the same walk through the house. Uh, in looking back at the 1080p footage that I just shot, in this room, it seemed like it got a little bit more... I don't know, it was maybe a little bit worse than the front-facing camera, which is odd. But here's the shutter speed, frame rate, whatever you want to call it, just to see how it does in lower lighting. Uh, back in the living room, by the way, in case I didn't mention, going into the kitchen. Now, the stabilization I mentioned I saw on the 1080p footage does not appear to be very helpful if you're walking, so my hand jittering like it is, not great. Uh, so finding a better hand placement would be a good option. Or having a stabilizer if you're going to use it for more cinematic type footage. But we are headed back outside now. We are out in the backyard. Should take just a second to adjust, but here it is in good lighting. Sort of moving around. Flip it around. And of course I can't see what's on the screen because it's not adjusting, but there you go. Just sort of panning around the yard. Good lighting outdoors. And that's probably enough. It does look like the 4K footage is being at least somewhat stabilized from the little bit of the screen that I could see. So realistically, this phone has an amazing camera, amazing front and rear camera, maybe not quite as good as the Nexus 5X and Nexus 6P, but still definitely respectable. That's going to be about all for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the full review whenever it is available. If it is available, links down below. We'll see you again next time.